54 owls fall from the sky in the Arizona desert. Well, the question is, what happened? John Bellow was just starting work at this North Valley petroglyph preserve that you'll have an opportunity to see today when he found the poor little guy. And I looked down in between the crack and the sidewalk and noticed that there was an owl down there. Not normal. Not normal. Bellow contacted a bird researcher who told him to put the deceased owl on ice. That researcher knew something strange was happening. Bellow's discovery was one of 54 flammulated owls found in the Phoenix area last year between September and October, all brought to Valley Bird Rescues. That's compared to just nine owls of the same species turned in the previous year and three before that. You've got a mystery on your hands. Yeah, we are exploring a mortality event that occurred with a small migratory insectivore owl. Jason Struthers is a veterinary pathologist at Midwestern University in Glendale, trying to figure out just what happened. So this would be number 42. They're so little. Yeah, and it's amazing that they can easily fly 300 miles in a day. So they either fell from the sky, died after landing, or they were found suffering. Exactly. Lots of them were found in pools. 13 of the owls were rehabbed. The carcasses of the other 41 are now under the microscope, being studied at Midwestern and two other colleges. We open the, the carcass and look at all the organs to look at types of poisons that they might be exposed to. So we try to cover all our bases by being extremely complete with sampling all the organs. Struthers has one big clue. A fall heat wave last year overlapped with the owl discoveries. The temperatures were around uh, 2.4 degrees Fahrenheit greater this past year than the year prior. 39 of the 41, they have damage to the kidneys. That could be a, a concern that they're experiencing dehydration. After all tests are complete, if heat remains the most likely cause, it will demonstrate how even small changes in temperature can have debilitating effects on this species. We hope to really paint a picture and whether this will be a repeating issue that will be more common as the Sonoran Desert temperatures continue to increase. A migration mystery with an answer likely in reach. And it's thanks to people across the valley like John, who cared enough to take a moment out of their day to act. There's a term that's used for that called citizen science. You still can play the role of a scientist by providing little bits of data that other scientists can use to better understand a species, better understand an environment. I think it's really important that we have that natural wonder and curiosity, especially when it comes with nature. We're all here together to try and survive and thrive in this desert environment. Joe Dana, 12 News.